This is Sue Kim from Film 1001 Cores. Uh, my, my desktop documentary is going to be about why hackers hack into other people's account and how to prevent hackers from accessing other people's account. People need to keep their personal accounts such as Facebook and email private so that hackers do not hack into their personal account and steal people's personal information. There are some anonymous people who cover their face with a mask in order to hide their identity. In addition, hackers can find a way to steal personal information like home address, personal identification numbers, and many more. In order to prevent hackers or anonymous people from stealing personal information, people should hide their personal information and not share their personal account like email and Facebook to other people. <clears throat> One example of the anonymous group will be Aerodeth reported that they could attack big Canadian servers that belong to the government and corporations. Corporations can include Ottawa Police Networks, Ottawa.ca, Supreme Court TELUS, Fido Wind Mobile, and Crudo Mobile. <coughs> Reasons for the hackers to hacking into government and big company servers include opportunity, frustration, political messages, thrills, power, and the list goes on. <clears throat> there are a number of ways to prevent people's phone from being hacked. One example of protecting their phone from hackers is to create a password which is strong in order to make it hard for the hacker from guessing the password. Currently, there are lots of dangerous hackers today in the world. One of the dangerous hackers in the world were Anonymous, where they took down the PlayStation Network and stole the user's idea in 2011. There are 12 ways how the employees can protect their website from hackers. One of the ways for employees to protect their website is to create their login password strong, which makes it difficult for the hackers to guess. In addition, employees should not share their login password. Furthermore, another way to prevent the hackers is that employees should download and install security applications to protect their websites. There are anonymous Facebook users who can hack into other Facebook users' accounts and post inappropriate comments to bully them. An example of someone being bullied on Facebook is a 12-year-old girl named Rebecca Sedwick who committed suicide by jumping from a top to concrete to plant.
Here are the 10 most dangerous hackers in history. One of the most dangerous hackers was Johnson James, who stole software from the NASA system. 10 most dangerous hackers in history. 10, Jonathan James. At the age of 15, child prodigy Jonathan James hacked into basically everything he could, from the Florida-based Miami-Dade school system to the US Defense Threat Reduction Agency, who was supposed to protect the country from weapons of mass destruction. He even found a way into NASA systems, stealing $1.7 million worth of software, which could control the physical environment of the International Space Station. As a result, NASA was forced to shut down their system for three weeks, which cost $41,000. This national security breach wasn't taken lightly, and in 2000, James was arrested and convicted on two counts of juvenile delinquency. His sentence, six months house arrest, probation until the age of 18, and a written letter of apology to NASA. He was on the government's radar from then on, and in 2008, James's house was raided when he was suspected of taking part in another series of hacks, but the possibility of being jailed for a crime he claimed he hadn't committed evidently spooked James and he killed himself, despite not having actually been arrested for the crime. That's the end of my desktop documentary. Thank you for listening.